know, it's, it's just such an easy thing to do. And the whole concept is people that struggle with addiction, you know, nobody wants to be addicted. Nobody wants to go out and commit crime to feed their addiction. Nobody wants to get arrested because, you know, they're struggling with, with this addiction, whatever the drug is, whether it's alcohol, whether it's crack, whether it's meth, whether it's heroin, um, opiate pain medication, whatever it is, you know, so many people in our community are, are caught up in this for a lot of reasons. And, and they're not bad people. They're not evil people. These are people that have a disease that, that want help. And I talk to a lot of people that struggle with addiction. And I, I hear this, this overarching theme from them that all of them had these windows where they decided on their own that they just didn't want to do this anymore, but they didn't know where to go. They didn't know how to access help. And we thought, well, here we're living in such a great community with a lot of resources compared to most other communities in Illinois. And if you have people on the one hand that are really struggling, that want help, but they don't know how to connect to those resources, and how can we expect somebody that, you know, is laying in their bed at two in the morning to know which resources to 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 get in touch with and how to do that? Because most oftentimes they don't have transportation, they don't have insurance. Uh, there's just so many barriers there, so it's very easy for them to kind of go back to what they know, and and those cravings are kicking in, and and, and it's easy to kind of just you know go go do do what they're going to do. So the reason we built the Away Out program is we wanted to give them just an easy place, a place that's open 24/7, that they could go to get access to treatment, and that's the police. Uh, the other benefit to that is it's really kind of changed the perception of. Uh, the community with regard to the police and, it, and just as importantly it's changed the perception of the police when it comes to this population of people they no longer look at them as you know drug addicts or you know some scourge on society they recognize that these are human beings these are people's sons and daughters husbands wives and they need help they don't need to be locked up they need help and if we do that not only are we doing the right thing by helping people, but we're also reducing crime because these people aren't going to be going out and committing thefts and stealing cars and doing those other things. They're going to be out uh, being productive. And that's what we all want. That's what they want. And, and that's why the program is so natural because it's like, you know, we have these resources, we have people that want help, and it's just about connecting them. And, and through, you know, perhaps the place that they might look to last, which is the police, but it's been really neat and it's just been really neat to see the transformation of the police uh, how they've viewed their role differently and they viewed this population differently and they're really they really want to help they really want to help this population and they've done so hundreds of people have come in and been given access to treatment and it's it's been really great so that's one of my uh, one of our proudest accomplishments it's not something i certainly did on my own there was a big team of people that worked together to get this going and uh, and we're going to continue to grow it.